It's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Cancer. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for the next seven days. So today is the 24th. So I think it's like through the 31st. Would that be? Yeah, about the 31st. But you know the timing is fluid. So seven days from the date that you watch it. So we're just going to see what comes up. What, oh, there we go. What do we have for Cancer? Rainbow. The most difficult part of a situation is over. So the most difficult part of a situation is over. That's good news. So what else do we have for cancer? My cats are going crazy behind me, so whatever. Ooh. Soulmate reunion. So there could be a soulmate reunion here. So what else do we have for cancer? Let's get one of these. What do we have for cancer? We're two soulmates that are reuniting. And soulmates, could, you could, this could be somebody new. It could be somebody from your past. Um, could also be somebody that you're dealing with that is reuniting with a soulmate. So you gotta, you gotta keep that in mind as well. Oh, angel of love. So there's love being uh, shined down on you or an angel is bringing some sort of love into your life. So this is all about love. Big love by the looks of things. I think that you must have been in some sort of stormy weather, but here comes the light, you know? Here comes the light. So what do we have for Cancer? The tribe. I'm just going to go ahead and find it. You know, so it, it has an eight on it, so what goes around comes around. There's something may might be coming back back around. The tribe, community, belonging, being seen and understood by others, like-minded connections, a sense of family and friendship, knowing your place in the world. This card signifies a new affiliation with a group, so a new affiliation. This could be somebody new. Maybe you're meeting somebody new. Could be somebody from the past, though. Um... Humans are social creatures, and we need to know we are useful to our tribes, families, and communities. In a tribe, everyone has an important function and feels, I matter. Membership in the group provides a sense of belonging or kinship and of purpose that comes from working together for the greatest fulfillment of all. Perhaps you are part of a spiritual community or an artistic one. Perhaps you are in a learning community where you share your love or education. Regardless of its form or focus, your community brings you joy. You will be inspired by it and want to contribute to it. You're discovering the essential qualities that you share with another and perhaps also those you don't share. There are times when you follow and the other person leads. Hold on. And there is time when you lead and the other person follows. The appearance of this card points to the importance of learning the proper dance between you and another. Accepting the truth that everyone has flaws is part of that dance. Yet you are also being asked to be aware of the dynamics that you don't want to repeat. You are in the perfect place to make changes in order to experience the best version of who you can be together. So I feel like you're going to be getting together with somebody that you have some sort of soulmate connection with. Now, we have multiple soulmates in a lifetime, okay? Typically, our parents are our soulmates. Our children are our soulmates. Our best friend could be a soulmate. Um, previous lovers are probably a soulmate because soulmates come into our lives to teach us a lesson. We have multiple soulmates. So this doesn't have to be a lover, Okay, I feel like you may be reuniting with somebody that, you know, maybe you need to, there's some sort of give and take here. Um, there's some sort of reunion here with somebody that I think that you've had it out with because of that rainbow card. 
doesn't have to be a, you know, a lover. It doesn't. So what do we have for cancer? Fantasy says, I want it to be lover, right? So what do we have for cancer? The most difficult part of a situation is over. Eight of Pentacles, so putting in effort, working hard. Somebody's going to be creating something. You know, they're going to be putting in a lot of effort. This is, uh, maybe there's even something that is emerging. Maybe it's a new, maybe it's a new uh, project through your art. Something you have created. Something is happening through one of your creations. Maybe there's, there's, uh, Something that you are creating right now that can make you, it's like a craft, craft, you know, something that can make you money. Ooh, seven of pentacles reverse. Now that's completely the opposite. Okay, seven of pentacles reverse is not putting in much effort. No growth. It's time to plant your seeds someplace else. There's nothing left here. This season is over. Uh, maybe you've been working on creating something where there's no more growth. And maybe that's why we have tribe, a new tribe. We did read that. Maybe it's time for you to invest in new things and new people and new, in, new creative endeavors. Seven of Pentacles reverse. This is a dead end. So we do have a dead end here. Um, but I feel like you have some sort of creative ability. You have some sort of skill that you can start over with. Put it that way. Because Seven of Pentacles reverse is a need to start over. Ooh, Seven of Wands. Now, Seven of Wands is challenges, okay? It's about being challenged, facing opposition. I feel like you're, you're going to need to stand your ground. Somebody's going to be challenging you. You're going to be put in a tough position. Uh, maybe you're feeling attacked or feeling criticized about what you do, about your work or at your job. You know, you're feeling, maybe you have a lot on your plate. You have too many irons in the fire and something isn't working out. Maybe you're working with somebody that is trying to take you down or they're, they're working against you and you're, you're struggling. You're struggling with this job or this position. I feel like you're struggling in some sort of position. It's really not, it's interesting because it feels like you're trying really hard to make it work, but something is working against you with that seven, with, with the seven of pentacles reverse and the seven of wands something and maybe it's a belief that you have there's something that it's like you're 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 really trying hard to make this work but it's not growing there's no growth no matter what you do it's not working out there's too much opposition or people are maybe you got some haters or something like that and it's not and or people the enemies or something like that it feels like you're in a very tough position Three of Cups reverse could definitely be enemies. Enemies disguised as friends. Maybe you're with people that you work with or you live with or you're, they're not your tribe. They're not. This is not your tribe. Some of you may even be in a third party situation, okay? And it's not working out. It's not working out. So it's not. With this, It's right next to the Seven of Pentacles reverse. This is parting ways from friends or family or a relationship. Dashed expectations. This is a messy situation it's it's not fun anymore um king of pentacles could be dealing with the taurus virgo capricorn i feel like there's there's somebody that you're dealing with that is very very focused on their money they're focused on their stability they're focused on their security i feel like this person is very stubborn extremely stubborn it's like they're 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 not giving you anything i feel like there's somebody here that's not giving you anything um Maybe, maybe that there's, it's because they're, they're considering their options. I feel like you definitely have somebody here that is very focused on their money. They're focused on their job. They're not, or they're focused on everything but a relationship. They may involve themselves in third party situations because they don't really want to invest in something solid because they're just, they just want to be themselves. They just want to be focused on themselves right now. Eight of Wands next to the Seven of Wands. Now that's messages going back and forth. Um, news arriving. So you're going to be receiving some news. Could be about a third party. Could be about a friend. Um, there may be even somebody here that is going overboard in some way. Um, 
it's unrealistic. This is unrealistic, dissatisfied. You have somebody here that um, may be making you some sort of offer, but it's not long lasting. Strength card. Could be dealing with Leo. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and then we have the Strength card. This is a card of confidence, courage, willpower, determination. Working hard. Somebody, I feel like there's somebody that is working against you. I'm going to have to shut this. I feel like there is somebody that is working against you. They're, they're maybe communicating with somebody, somebody else. There's communication here going back and forth. And then it's with a third party because the Three of Cups is right there in reversed. May it be, it be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn communicating with a Leo or vice versa, Leo and a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, not really investing. We have somebody here that is not really investing. It's like you're putting in a lot of work. They're not really investing. They are restraining themselves. They're holding themselves back. Probably maybe because of a, a previous third party or somebody that's communicating with them that is... I feel like this person is putting you down. They maybe got there could be some gossip here. There definitely could be gossip with the seven of wands right next to the three of cups. This person, I feel like there's there's somebody here. There's an enemy disguised as a friend. This person appears to be very solid and stable on your side, but they're not. Anyhow, page of wands. Now this is a new offer or an invite that is coming your way. Okay, this is something that is that could be exciting that is coming your way to go in a new direction. This is good news arriving and the eight of wands is good news arriving as well. So I feel like you do have some good news that is coming. It may be about the end of a third party. It could be. It could be. This could be the end of a third party. Maybe somebody is going to be communicating with you and they're going to be putting in effort that they didn't put in before. That could certainly be the case. You know, maybe they didn't put in effort before because they were being controlled, you know. There's some sort of control issues. I think that maybe they were maybe they were being controlled in some way. That could be the case for some of you. But either way, there's a message that is coming. It is exciting. It is good news. You may also be just deciding to travel in a new direction. Maybe you're finding your focus, you know. Um... You could be getting an offer from an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I do think you're going to be going in a new direction. I do. I think that uh, you're going to be, it's like life emerging through some sort of gift or art. So I feel like, I feel like you have an art or, or some sort of gift that can uh, lead you in a new direction. But maybe you've been avoiding it or you've been ignoring it or something like that. Maybe there's somebody here that's going to be supporting you. And I don't know where that message came from. This is somebody that is very, very creative that is going to give you the uh, push, perhaps. Or give you the drive, you know, help you with the you know, refill your excitement. You know, whatever the word is for it. It's like give you the... Uh, newfound focus perhaps to just do it just give you the confidence fulfill, fill you up you know ah ten of swords underneath the seven of wands and the ten of swords is the end of suffering right i think you have been suffering i know that you have i feel like this is the end okay this is the end there's definitely somebody that has been bitching behind your back they have been talking behind your back you may just discover it. You may hear the messages. You may see the messages. There's somebody that's been talking about you behind your back. 100% all the way. There's gossip. This is, there's some sort of ending here. This is a painful ending. This is goodbye. This is a death of a situation. So, and I feel like you're going to be caught off guard. Because somebody, somebody could even attack, you know, the Seven of Wands next to the Ten of Swords. That's criticism. That's feeling attacked, you know. 
being attacked and I'm not talking in a physical manner I'm talking in a verbal manner I feel like this is like being under attack I feel like you have several people and I think it's at least three people that are working against you um, they're really challenging you I think you're gonna probably you could reach a breaking point this is the end okay it is the end you're gonna be going down a new path you're going in a new direction you're gonna receive an offer or an invite or you may just decide to go Okay, you may make that decision that you are not investing in this anymore. You're not, you're not. You may find your confidence and your courage to do something because we have the page of wands right next to the strength card. That's a bold, brave move. So I think that you're going to do something brave. I feel like you're going to do something, you know, um, courageous during this time. I feel like for some of you, you've received some poor advice. You may have received some poor advice from somebody. Maybe you've been overly reliant on psychic or psychics or tarot readers or mediums or something when you should have been listening to your own intuition. This is a lack of intuition, not listening, okay? So, or listening to other people when you should have been listening to yourself. Um, poor advice. So I think that you have received some poor advice. Maybe you've received some poor advice that uh, you believed. It feels like you did believe it, or you maybe you probably still do. Because uh, this is about a belief, a challenging, challenging your belief. I feel like your beliefs are being challenged right now. That's the seven of wands. And, and I feel like, I feel like uh, you're going to definitely be going in a new direction. I do. I mean, eight of wands with a page of wands. That is a new direction. It is. And it's exciting. It is. The end of suffering. I feel like... I feel like some of you are going to be uh, taking your skills someplace else. I think that you do have a skill, whatever this is, that can really make you a lot of money. But you might need to find the courage to... Uh, part ways with whoever it is that doesn't respect you to get that stability. And I think that this is a week of parting ways and finding a new tribe, whether it's a new work people, a new, new, new job, or it's new people, new, new family, you know, whatever it is, I do see you parting ways from somebody or a situation that really doesn't respect you. Good luck.